Alright, so uh, we got Mal vs. Capcom 3 here. We're going to see if all the uh, hype and excitement that Dan's had for the last three months uh, uh, is, uh, is worth it with the game. So, here's some initial impressions in the training mode. Dan's going to show you some combos and what the game actually looks like when the developer's not showing it to you. Alright, uh, this is training mode just like any other uh, game. Training mode in this game is very nice. It has a ton of options. Uh, just to go through it real quick, you have your normal, like, what you can do, your uh, opponent standing, crouching, jumping, uh, all those things, which is pretty normal. Um, and then obviously a difficulty if you put it on computer, whether guard type, advancing guard, crossover counter, all those cool stuff. But then there's five different tabs, so if you keep going, you can see life recovery, your X-Factor gauge, which is a new thing I'll talk about. Um... You, oh, also, one thing I really like is you can actually change your character assists of your team in your training menu, so you don't have to back out, choose a character, choose the, another assist to mess around, which is really cool. Um, let's see. Another thing that I find is really cool. Oh, this is what's awesome. You have your uh, input display, which you can take on or off, which is other. Attack data, same thing. Uh, damage, you have a thing, but this is really cool. This is the coolest thing, is you can actually simulate lag in training mode so that you can kind of go into a crappy game online a little bit ahead of the game uh, where you can actually practice your combos with lag and stuff like that. Alright, so now I'm going to go over a couple of new aspects of the game. Uh, first off, anybody who's played Marvel vs. Capcom uh, 2 knows that there's things like super cancels, which is when you are a character, you do a special move, and then you special into another character special move, which I'll show you right now. Uh, Dante's special into Spider-Man. Alright, they still got that, which is awesome. A good feature. Um, the way to do that, obviously, is just do your special and then do whatever next person in, in your team's uh, special is. Just do that and it'll come out. Um, the switching was which one thing I didn't really know when I was going into this, what it was going to be like, and I actually really like it. You see up in the corner where my characters are, it tells me which button will be their assist, L, B, and R, B. You just tap it, and they come out and do their assist. Now, one thing in the last game, you'd have to press multiple buttons at the same time for them to come out. In this game, all you actually have to do is hold down that assist button, and they'll come out. Very easy switching. Uh, even in comparison to Marvel 2, which I thought was pretty easy. Um, so, those are two things. A new, a new uh, mechanic, which is really cool, it's similar to the Focus Absorb Dats cancel of Street Fighter 4, which pretty much cancels any animation. It's called the X-Factor. I'll just do it right now and show you what it looks like. Now, X-Factor, when you're in X-Factor, it's actually, your character becomes... It, it depends on character, but your character will become faster, stronger. They'll also regenerate uh, red life, uh, which is something you don't normally do unless you're in reserve. Um, now, that one really cool thing about X Factor, like I said, it cancels animation, so it allows you to do things like uh, cancel your own super move into another one of your own super moves, which I'll, I'll show you, uh, hopefully with a combo, if it comes out good. <laughs> like that. Actually, you notice, I dropped the combo in the beginning, but we'll pretend we didn't see that. And uh, But when I landed, I did the special, and then I canceled the last hit of the special with the X-Factor, and then I input the special again. So my, technically, I comboed this exact same special with Dante alone. Um, so those are a couple of the new aspects. What else do they have? Um, I noticed a couple things in the last one, like with the Fly characters, they toned down Fly a lot. Because anybody who played Marvel 2 realized that Fly was one of the most broken aspects of the game. Uh, so now it's very limited. It's like two or three seconds you can just fly and then you fall. Um, super jump just like before. Oh, okay. Um, the special button. Marvel 3 works on a, th uh, a three-button attack system like Tetsunoko, light, medium, and hard. Um, and then there's a button called the special button, which is also called the exchange button. Now what this does is it for every character, it's your pop-up. So if you put it in a string, it's your pop-up, which can be followed by a high jump, which will obviously set you into an air combo. But there's more uses for this in this game. Now, if you're in an air combo, 
and uh, you want to end the air combo with the special button. It actually does what's similar than in Tetsunoko, where it switches out your characters mid combo. It will do that in the air. Now you can do it through your whole team. Technically, you can do it twice, um, which is really cool. One downfall to it is if the person predicts that you're going to do it, then they can input the same thing and they'll counter it mid air. But I'll give you an example right now of some fancy air combos using the exchange. So, uh, so I'll do a little bit more. That was uh, a sequence through my entire team with an ender, a smash downwards. Um, so I'll show, I'll show you a couple combos. Hopefully, I can do them. Been working on them a little bit, but. That was not what it was supposed to look like. I'll try that again. There it is. You did the first hit of that web swing. I was putting the wrong direction. Spider-Man, uh... I have a 100% combo, starting with Dante, and I have to have Spider-Man as my second. Okay, and then here we go. Oops. Oh, that's still good. That would have been cool. I didn't know if that was going to land or not. <laughs> but, uh, alright, so that's a little bit of training mode, a little bit of basic combos. Uh, Spencer seems pretty cool. I want to try and use him. Um, let's see, I'll show you guys the character select screen. Pretty much just got the game, so obviously I've only unlocked two characters. But we're missing uh, Senko on the bottom left and uh, Taskmaster over here. Just go through it real quick. You have Akuma, Sea Viper, Trish, Amaratsu, Arthur, Morgan, Spencer, Dante, Chun Li, Tronbon, Wesker, Chris, Zero, Ryu, Beautiful Joe, Felicia, Hagger, Hulk, X23, Wolverine, Captain America, Super Scroll, Doctor Doom, Dormammu, Modok, Thor, Spider Man. Uh, Deadpool, Phoenix, She-Hulk, Sentinel, Boo, Magneto, <laughs> Storm, Iron Man, and then Taskmaster will be above Iron Man and... Uh, no said, goddamn uh, Howard the Duck. No goddamn Howard the Duck yet. Alright, All right, so that's the character select screen. We'll show you a couple menus.